This is the first time you're getting the story of the Stanford Prison Experiment. What they taught you in school was useless. You get down on all fours, pretend like you're a dog. But I'm just one voice inside this. There's the stories of the prisoners, the stories of the guards, the stories of Zimbardo, the stories of other psychologists. There's the book by Thibault Le Texier, who appears in the film. So this is a 360 degree view. Turn it around, push it. I got involved in the study when I was only 20 because I needed a job just for the tail end of summer. So I signed up, three days later, I got a phone call. We need you, please come into the psychology department. And I thought, great. So that's how it began. The fresh meat here. I think so. I got his stuff here. When I came to the psychology department, they had me strip and then they put a frock on me and they put me in a prison. And then I went, okay, how real a prison is this prison? And that's what I spent the next 24 hours trying to figure out. Turn around, face the wall, hands against the wall. Oh, one, two, two. two. looking good, fellas. Three, two, two. slow, two, slow. Four. Four. Did you learn anything? The guards told us, all right, it's time for you to write your appeal because you're going up to the parole board. Morning, girls. Stay out. Oh, come on. Come oh, oh. on. So there were two experimenters and a third guy who was their supposed advisor on what prisons are like. I began and then the prison advisor guy went completely improv. What? You dare come here talking about being released? And the other two looked at him like, what's he doing? I felt, okay, this was more than I bargained for. So at that point, I decided if there's a way to get out, I will get out. And the idea of a hunger strike was actually pretty obvious. Hot dog day. Eat that hot dog, prisoner 416. They did try to jam food down my throat. It was clear that they didn't know how far to go. Oh, it is. Come on. Prisoner 416 will stay in the hole for the remainder of the night. What I carry with me is not the original experience. It is Zimbardo's relentless promotion to make this a cultural object, a daytime TV show guest kind of thing in which he was extraordinarily successful. And he kept all of these rolling decade after decade. And that would mean every two to four years, I would be contacted. I think it's important to continue to share the story of the Stanford Prison Experiment. What Juliet Eisner, the director, and Alex Braverman, the executive producer, created is just punctilious. And I think if you love documentary film, you should watch this. Hey,